My name is Kurt Hoekstra and my brother Jack Hoekstra um, here in Hoekstra Dairy in Oakdale, California. Um, we're uh, currently milking about uh, 1,250 cows. Um, we've been crossbreeding now for uh, just over 12 years and um, we've tried a, a number of different breeds, uh, different combinations. Um, we've, we've Probably the three main ones that we that we enjoy the most that have, that we've seen that have worked have been uh, the Holstein um, crossed with the Montbilliard and the Swedish Red or the Red Dane. Um, they've worked really well for us. It's really uh, helped improve our reproduction, um, our herd health. I think that's uh, that's been a huge advantage for us. Um, just the cows are healthier, a lot less uh, problems with them, um, a lot less cows in the hospital less uh, antibiotics, um, you know, as far as treatments for them. Um, so that's all been a huge plus uh, for our operation. So. I think on a uh, nutritional standpoint, I, if you milk crossbreds and the crossbreds that we, we milk, the Pro Cross, um, I think nutritionally, a higher forage diet, which for us now is a little bit cheaper than having to buy grain and, and commodities and we are starting to grow a lot more of our own silages and hay so that, that gives us an advantage um, you get higher components with that also so that helps with a little bit higher uh, milk check um, another thing I think that's really helped out is the feet and legs on these on these cows are is improved a, a whole bunch it, it's so much better um, when we have pure Holsteins they tend to walk around a lot slower uh, they tend to um, be back on their feet too much, uh, a lot of hoof trimming. Now um, we don't run a foot bath at all. We have them for uh, probably eight, nine years. Um, we've got a real hard hoof. Um, the cows just walk real well. They get back and forth from the barn. We have one string. Actually, it's our highest group of cows. They're 900 feet from their pen to the milk barn, and they make and we milk them three times a day, and and they make that journey or that trip with no problem. It doesn't affect them. Um, I think they're just a good, hardy, well put together cow. All right, a little bit about our uh, selection criteria and, and how we, in our breeding program, um, we like to stay with the Holstein, Montbilliard, and the Swedish Red or the Red Dane. Um, if we have a Holstein Montbilliard, then we'll breed her back to a Holstein. The next generation after that will be uh, Swedish Red and then Montbilliard again, just kind of that, that pro cross, the three-way cross. We like to keep that going. Um, I think all those three uh, breeds have great uh, characteristics that we like in a commercial uh, dairy operation. Uh, just functional traits. Um, Mike Osmondson of Creative Genetics, he's, he's played a huge role in all of this and, and especially in selecting the bulls that, uh, that we use um, within the various breeds. Um, we've given a lot of trust to Mike that he will uh, import or bring in um, only the best bulls out of the, out of the three breeds, um, mainly the top 10%. So we know that when we're breeding with any, any one of the three breeds, we're going to be using the best bulls that, uh, that the companies do have to offer us. Um, I think one of the things we really like about um, the three breeds that we've chosen, even with the Holstein, a lot of our Holstein semen comes uh, from, from Europe. And, um, we really like the, the records that they, they keep on everything. I think they're much more reliable than the records that are kept here in the U.S. Um, whether it's about the feet and legs that they, they record when they're being trimmed, um, there's much more emphasis on, on health traits and all those uh, recordings. Um, uh, and all the, yeah, the, just better functional traits that they select for. Um, even with our Holsteins, a lot of our Holstein semen is, is still coming from Europe also. Um, and, and that just goes back to their selection uh, process and, and what the bulls have to go through in order to, to make it um, as being um, uh, daughter bulls. So um, we really, we still need the purebred uh, dairymen to still be able to have the purebred cows, whether it's the purebred Holsteins. 
uh, the, the pure Montpelliards or Swedish Red or Red Dane. Um, those. Those are very important for us in, in our crossbreeding operation and what we do here. Um, so we need to uh, make sure that they're able to uh, still stay in business and, and do what they're doing because they play a vital role in, in our program here in California.